Never trust a guy in the wheelchair with dirty shoes. Cause they're always up to something. There you go. Uh, hi, my name is Ryan Wilshots. I'm a, a quadriplegic. Uh, I'm not quadriplegic. I'm quad spastic cerebral palsy. I can't even get my own disability right, man. Hi, my name is Ryan Wilshots. I'm a disabled professional stand up comedian from White Rock, British Columbia. I have quad spastic cerebral palsy and I'm confined to a power wheelchair. But I don't want that to stop me from doing anything. Yeah, I did ski competitively for Team Canada when I was a teenager and I got to represent our country. Unfortunately, my father did a lot of that with me and then when my father passed away when I was a teenager, I just kind of lost interest and became a brooding teenager that just thought everything sucked. We all go through stages like that where even the things we love suck. That's when uh, the comedy albums and everything were introduced to kind of cheer me up and everything and that's when I found would become my career and my lifelong passion and that's to make people laugh. Growing up with a disability comedy gave me uh, the ability to understand myself and to express myself material that bullies would use against me I'd say it about myself before they had a chance to. So a lot of it initially when I first started was a lot of self-deprecation and uh, I took the first few years to figure it out. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I've been doing comedy for over 20. How many am I allowed to share publicly? Because I have really cool stories, I just don't know if they fly in a GoFundMe. Over the years, I've got to travel all over the world, and I got to share the stage with Rob Williams, with Ron Funches, some of the best comics in Canada, like Ivan Decker, and Dave Merhers, Matt Dillon. One of the major ones for me was to meet and spend time with Jelly Connolly, probably my comedic hero. He basically saved my life because when I was a teenager, his stand-up comedy, and I would just listen to it over and over again. I really didn't know what I was gonna do. Uh, I can't work a regular workday, but I can perform for an hour. I need to be on stage, I need to be performing because everybody has that happy place in their life. The place for me there is on stage. 95 to 98% of my life is in control of other people. I need help with everything. But when I'm on stage, it's just me, the mic, and the crowd. To take somebody's like mediocre day and turn it into a great day or just by telling a joke, there's nothing better than that, man. Nothing better. Well, I'm not having a van. Uh, my career and my personal life has sucked because I can't really go anywhere. I don't start work sometimes till 10, 10.30 at night. It's really affected my mental health because I had a whole bunch of shows booked that I had to cancel. If I'm not doing shows, like a piece of me is missing and I become miserable and irritable and my caregivers start to see it and wheelchair vans are extremely expensive. Unfortunately, my last van, the motor completely died in it and I want to be able to share my gift with as much of the world as I can. And having that van will allow me to do that. So yeah, helping other people and making, making sure they're happy and looking after them are a big part of who I am. That's why I'm part of the, the Dillon Foundation, which is an organization that was brought about because I lost my favorite human on the planet, Matt Dillon, who arguably is probably the best underrated stand-up comic in the country. If it wasn't for Matt, I wouldn't be a professional comedian. I wanted to start going on the road. A lot of comics thought it was funny, but they didn't know how the logistics of me going on the road would work. Whereas Matt was like, I don't give a sh**. We're putting you in the car, we're going, and we're doing it. And I, I traveled all over the place with him for over 14 years. Uh, I spent more time with him than I did my family. That's why when I lost him to drug addiction and to mental health issues, I just felt like I needed to do something. He, wa he loved and cared about people to a fault. What we want to do in the Dillon Foundation is help artists who are struggling with mental health and addiction. I don't want to lose any more of my friends like this, like, because it's our job to make people happy and laugh. But there's no one on the other end doing that for us a lot of the time, and it's a very lonely profession. And I just want to change that if I can. Even if I just help one other comedian, I've done my job, man. So I, I just want more people to hear my story 
and to be inspired to go out and do what you love. Because life's too short, man. Because we're only here for a finite amount of time. Anthony Wiseman, Langley Chrysler. I'm the general manager here. Ryan is such an inspirational story and ultimately just a good guy. Here at Langley Chrysler, you know, myself personally, the team, we believe in helping out our community. If 80,000 people donated a buck, we'd, we'd have a solution here right now, which is why we're coming to you. A donation, anything that you can do to get us to where we need to go, to where Ryan needs to go to live his dream. Hi there, it's uh, Jason Roland here, former general manager of the Comedy Mix in Vancouver. I've known Ryan for about 10 years now, and simply put, he's one of the country's best comedians. Please support his GoFundMe account so that more people get to find that out. Ryan needs that van. He's going to use it to get to and from gigs. He's going to use it to be the superstar that he is. Ryan is hilarious. This van will help get him to shows to share his amazing talent. Please consider donating to help him. Listen, Ryan needs that van. He's the man. And he definitely needs transportation to be a part of our Billing Foundation, which he's a key member of. He's a man on the rise, and all he needs is the ride to get him to his destination. And it's that van, baby! I've known Ryan for three and a half years, and I'm also his caregiver. It's important that he is able to get to those shows, and it's also important that he is able to attend any medical appointments that are way too far out of White Rock by transit. So if you could hit that donate button, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah, let's uh, raise some money for him to get a new band, good cause, and uh, let's do it, all right? Hi, my name is Gavin Clarkson. I'm a local Vancouver comedian. I've known Ryan LaChance for years. He's legitimately one of the best comedians in the country right now, and he can't get to his shows without a new van. So let's get him back on the road and back working and back to doing what he does best. Uncle Ryan needs a new van so he can come to our birthdays and holidays, hospital appointments, and needs to be able to spread as much laughter as possible. How you doing? This is Peter Hudson. The dude needs a van. So let's get him a van. Let's turn this four wheel van into a six wheel van and rock and roll. Let's do it guys. Uh, Ryan, I just gotta say, um, I, 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 I love you, buddy. You're, you're, you're a great guy, and um, and we're so happy and blessed to be here, um, you know, alongside you and helping you on this journey. This should have been shorter, but I don't. Know, whatever. He's a great kid. Love him as you would your own. That got weird.